Hey everyone, we're going to jump straight into the video today. We're going to compare BIOS 331 to 333 on the ROG Ally. All of today's tests at 30 watt are going to be a locked TDP. I'm not using turbo mode. I've taken the sliders down to 30 watts. For each test, I've ran it three times and I've averaged it with the exception of Geekbench, which I only ran once. We'll start off with Time Spy on 331 at 15 watt. The average was 2354 and on 333 it was 2419, so a little bit of a bump. When we take the TDP up to 30 watt, we get 3066 on 331 and 3056 on 333. Now we can take a look at some results for Geekbench 6. We'll do this at 15 watt first. So on 331, we have 21,168 for the GPU, 2,417 for single core, and 8,431 for multi-core. And on 333, we have 21,801 for the GPU, 2,454 single core, and 8,584 for multi-core. It seems that there's a small bump in performance on BIOS 333 at 15 watts. So let's take a look at 30 watt next. For 331, we have 29,329 for the GPU, 2,523 for single core, and 11,240 for multi-core. On 333, we have 29,015 on the GPU, 2,505 on single core, and 11,211 on multi-core. The results are pretty close between the two. I think between the two tests, it's pretty much down to margin of error, so I don't really think there's any real change here. And now we'll move on to some game performance tests. First up is Forza Horizon 5. This is at medium settings, 1080p with FSR off. At 15 watt, you can see there's a very slight advantage for 333, but nothing really to call home about. I wouldn't even call it much of a change. And at 30 watt, it's the same story here. So there's no real difference for Forza Horizon 5. Now I'll take a look at Cyberpunk 2077. This is 1080p FSR ultra performance at the lowest settings. There's a slight advantage for 333 on the low end, but when we move over to 30 watts, it pretty much levels out and they're almost exactly the same. Now taking a look at Starfield, this is at 1080p with a custom ultra setting. We have pretty well the same results at 15 watts. When you're comparing between 331 and 333, when we get to 30 watts, it's pretty much the same story. So you're probably seeing a pattern here. There's really no changes so far. Now we'll take a look at God of War. This is at 1080p low settings with FSR to ultra performance. You can see that we have a slight advantage for 333 at 15 watt. And when we take a look at 30 watts, you can see that there is an advantage here for a 333. This one's a little more defined than we've seen in some of the other tests. Now we'll take a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is at 1080p, the highest settings, and 15 watt. You can see that the results are fairly similar. There's not too much of a difference. The main difference really was the minimum frame rate. And at 30 watt, pretty much the same results. There's a little bit of a higher max on the 333 BIOS, but that's about it. And for our final game, we'll take a look at Forza Motorsport. This is at 1080p, FSR off, and low settings. And in this test, for the first time, we see a pretty significant advantage for the 333 BIOS. Uh, being a new game, I think that would be why we're seeing this, so perhaps some other really new games like Alan Wake 2 may perform better as well, although I don't own that one to test it. And now we're done the testing, and as you can see between the two BIOS versions, there isn't a ton of difference. There's one game that I think had like a 4 frame advantage for the new one. Forza Motorsport was pretty significant, but aside from that, they seem to be performing pretty much the same. And as usual, keep in mind, I only tested a few games, so this isn't a full picture of what the drivers can and cannot do, so you may want to check out some other videos as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.